What's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add real camera shake into stable, um, you know, non-shaky videos. So here I have a video I made a while ago. Actually it was a few weeks ago. It wasn't a while ago at all. We're just kind of, I'm just kind of gradually dying. I kind of super saturated my face and then it desaturates totally gray and then starts getting blue and then these bloody cuts and my uh, right eye goes black and I uh, die off. Okay, so let's find a cool scary point. How about that? Okay, so anyway, what I've done was I um, made real high contrast, very definable points on uh, these two sheets of paper here. And what that has allowed me to do is go to my motion tracking. I track the motion. Um, it took me forever to render this out for uh, for it to track the points because they're so big. But I wanted to wanted it to be a really solid track, so um, I track just position and rotation. I don't know if scale would have even been affected that much, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't want my um, affliction, whatever video, to be affected. So anyway, I'm just going to make my new null object and apply my data and now I have my null okay so if I delete my um, tracking footage or I'll just shut it off for now and parent my affliction footage to the null it starts to shake around and obviously we're going to have to fix that just a little bit by um, scaling it up and moving it over and then we're just going to have to watch a little bit of it see if it you know comes out of the frame a little bit like it did right there so let's just do it like that slide it over and that should be good the whole way through and if we hit shift command H, sh um, that hides all our little helping um, layers like our null, like the red goes away, and our outline of our other footage goes away. So anyway, now we have completely real um, camera shake as opposed to the um, wiggler like I did in a previous tutorial. So this is kind of... Um, yeah, just it's real. And so what you can do is you can shoot um, different shake amounts. And what I did was I shot a low shake, like I just showed you, um, a medium shake, um, which I put a little added force into it, and then a high where I zoomed it in and shook it around. And shoot at a higher shutter speed, so you just get a very clean, very solid track. Um, and then it's okay if it's really grainy, but you don't want it too grainy, because that might possibly affect your track. So in here I was shooting like uh, 1 over 160 um, shutter speed. Let's see, f3.5, and my ISO was at about 800, I think. Um, so turned out pretty great. Did the triangle and the X. I just tracked the X. I didn't need this orange, um, little spot that I did. But anyway, it works great. So when you're done with all this, you can just, uh, delete your base footage and then you're just left with your null object. And you can save the project and then just call it low or whatever you want, camera shake or something, and then when you open it up, you can import footage and then use your tracking data directly on it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial informative and helpful, so I will talk to you guys later, so please subscribe and check out my other videos, so thanks, bye.